Saturday morning coffee. Actually, it's coffee and iced tea. So the question is, what things work on an altar and what things do not work on an altar? Well, I would say pretty much you have to pay attention to the flow of the altar. There's nothing, like I have my picture of my grapes on the altar and say, well, that's not sacred, you know, but it is to me. So on an altar, the only things that wouldn't work are things that don't go together. And I have a funny story about that. I don't have a picture to go with it, but I have a funny story. So I have two um, statues that are both female, but the energies are very different. One is that um, the, the, the picture you see there, the one of Tara, she's the one in the corner, the dark, darker statue, the, the bronze statue. Tara is compassion, the compassionate female. I also have a statue of Sekhmet. Now Sekhmet is also female, but she is the warrior and she is, I mean, to laugh, don't laugh, well, you can laugh. But she's even the goddess of orgasmic situations, you know what I mean? So, I mean, she has a different energy than Tara. And I wasn't thinking of that. And when I was putting my altar away, when we were moving, I packed them in the same box. And when I opened that box, it was like a war was going on in that box. And so I keep them in separate <laughs> separate sides of my bookcase because their energies don't go together. So back to the question, what works on an altar and what doesn't? There's really nothing you can't put on an altar. Uh, but what I would say is that you don't want to put things that have different energies to them. I like that.